In order to reach our sublime destiny, we need each other and we need to be unified. The Lord has commanded us, be one, and if ye are not one, ye are not mine. On a trip to Mexico to spend Christmas with my husband's family, we visited a butterfly sanctuary where millions of monarch butterflies spend the winter. It was fascinating to see such an impressive sight and for us to reflect on the example of unity and obedience to divine laws that God's creations demonstrate. Monarch butterflies are master navigators. They use the sun's position to find the direction they need to go. Every spring, they travel thousands of miles from Mexico to Canada, and every fall they return to the same sacred fir forests in Mexico. They do this year after year, one tiny wing flap at a time. During their journey, they cluster together at night on trees to protect themselves from the cold and from predators. A group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope. Isn't that a beautiful image? Each butterfly in a kaleidoscope is unique and different. Yet these seemingly fragile creatures have been designed by a loving creator with the ability to survive, travel, multiply, and disseminate life as they go from one flower to the next, spreading pollen. And although each butterfly is different, they work together to make the world a more beautiful and fruitful place. Jesus Christ is the ultimate example of unity with his Father. They are one in purpose, in love and in works, with the will of the Son, being swallowed up in the will of the Father. How can we follow the Lord's perfect example of unity with his Father and be more unified with them and with each other? Miracles happen when the children of God work together, guided by the Spirit, to reach out to others in need. We hear so many stories of neighborly love shown among the people when catastrophe strikes. For example, when the city of Houston suffered a massive flood last year, people forgot about their own needs and went to the rescue. An elders quorum president sent a call for help to the community and a fleet of 77 boats was quickly organized. Rescuers went around the affected neighborhoods and transported whole families to one of our meeting houses, where they received refuge and much needed help. Members and non-members worked together with one purpose. Like the monarch butterflies, let us continue on our journey together in purpose each of us with our own attributes and contributions, working to make this a more beautiful and fruitful world, one small step at a time, and in harmony with God's commandments. Our Lord Jesus Christ has promised us that when we are gathered together in His name, He is in the midst of us. I testify that He lives and that He was resurrected on a beautiful spring morning like today, he is the monarch above all monarchs, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. May we be one in the Father and in his begotten Son as we are guided by the Holy Ghost. It's my humble prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.